So do we really remember how to fold our saddle blanket when we sleep on it and wake up the next morning and they call boots and saddles? This week on the 11th OVC, we'll be talking about making sure we all know how to fold our saddle blankets the right way. So folding the saddle blanket actually is not that big of a deal. According to uh, Cogdens, what you need is actually six thicknesses of blankets with the edge that has no loose ends facing the withers of the horse. How you actually do this is fold the saddle blanket in half longwise. So as you can see, the long ways is pointing towards you or going away from you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold the saddle blanket in half longwise first like this make sure the even or the lines match up and it's even and then what you do is you fold this in thirds so third here and a third here and that is your saddle blanket to where the edge that has the edge that has uh, no loose ends which is this edge right here goes along the withers of the horse so it sits on the horse like this. Now another way to fold a saddle blanket, uh, if you camp out a lot and you do a lot of campaign events, is you'll uh, inevitably sleep around cactus, you'll sleep around some cockleburs, you'll sleep around any thorny plant that you uh, slept on all night and woke you up and you never really could sleep. But the problem is, is then you, your saddle blanket is all full of that stuff, especially if you fold it on the ground, it's full of that stuff, you have to pick it out. So sometimes I like folding my saddle blanket standing up. How you do this, again, is the exact same concept, is basically you take your saddle blanket, okay, and then you fold it in half, like so, making sure that there are no loose ends, or there are, there, sorry, there are no uh, uh, cockle burrs or, or bad burrs or anything like that. Then basically all you do is you just fold it in thirds, like so, okay, and then like so, with again the edge with no loose ends, which would be this edge right here, on the horse itself. So that would face, the, the this right here would be the withers of the horse, so the horse would be facing that way. If you'll notice that the first time I folded it, I had that nice yellow stripe, the corner of the yellow stripe that came here and up, which a lot of reenactors say that's the right way to fold a blanket is, is pay attention to this orange stripe. However, that's not necessarily true because you can see here, I fold it the right way and this time the orange stripe is here with nothing on the orange stripe on the other side. The benefit of folding the saddle blanket in these six thicknesses is when you ride a week or two weeks at a time, every day, every other day, you can swap exactly. I mean, you have, what is it, like 24 some uh, surfaces that you can refold the saddle blanket, still have your six thicknesses, still have the end that doesn't have any uh, free edges toward the withers of the horse, and you are on a new, fresh side of the saddle blanket every day or every other day. So don't necessarily pay attention to the or orange stripe. All I care about is, is it folded in half, then folded in thirds? Is there six total thicknesses? Is, is Then is the edge that has no free ends on the withers of the horse. So that's it for how to fold your saddle blanket, an unusually short episode for the 11th OVC, but we hope you enjoyed it. I hope this actually was worthwhile for you. Please like us on Facebook. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, ride hard.